Why do I always get talked into fixing this shit? This is a Coleman... I don't know what the hell it is. There's a lot of crap over here. I'm at a client's house. Coleman Power Mate. I have absolutely no idea of the amperage or actual performance output of this thing. All I know is that he wants me to get it running. He told me he had it running. It idled well. And that was a long time ago. But he said when it was running, it was running well. There you go. Ooh, Eagle. Portable generic or portable electric generator. See, at least they actually give you like um, the actual physical stuff here. So max ambient temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Duty it, duty that's rated at is continuous. RPM 3600, single phase. Current is anywhere between 38 and 19 amps. 19 amps 220, 38 120. It's going to push quite a bit of amps for a little guy. Surge at rated maximum is 57.50. Pretty much continuous should be about 4,600. Uh, you don't want to surge this thing. You don't want to surge any generator. That surge rating is full of crap, and a lot of these generators will rate the actual power output by the max surge. So um, it seems like this one's actually pretty honest. Would you look at that? An honest generator. I seriously don't know when the last time I had this thing running, but it, probably a while ago. Let's see if it has gas. Oh, man. I don't know what's in that gas tank, but it, there's fucking rocks in the gas tank. Can you fucking believe it? Oh, God. I wouldn't be shocked if the fuel filter was trash in this thing. Which you should run. Rocks in the fucking tank. Probably not even gas in there. It smells like a mixture of some kind. We're not going to need to worry about it. We're going to be shoving a can of ether up this thing's ass. Or, in reality, we're going to be putting belt dressing. It's aerosol. It's flammable. Is it not? I probably am going to be doing something stupid here. Alright, this is our engine run. Add oil to full mark to start. Engine will not shut off. Wait, what? Add oil to full mark. Oh, it has one of those pressure regulators, just like the engine I built for my generator. If it has a pressure regulator, it actually won't start. Jesus fuck. Okay, there we go. So, let's see, do we have oil? Yeah, we're at full. We're not. We're going to be making pressure. It might take it a little bit to actually know that we have pressure, though, and actually operate. And we need to hook this crap up, too. Meh, good enough. It's got this thing on here called idle control, and we're not going to use that. And I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Engine speed? Is that like a little... I, um... This is an electronic governor on it. And I assume that red light is for oil. So... Well, let's find out if the fucking thing even works. Probably pour gas on this. What do we got here? I don't know. All right, if it's pulled the other way, it's off. No, give it some choke. On. Okay, should be good to try. Watch this thing like kill me. <sighs> Foot it because this is a big single cylinder. I should probably use my good arm for this. Where's the exhaust? Oh, right there next to my face. So if something shoots a valve, it'll cut my dick off. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Shit's got snapback. Wow, that's making good compression. Such good compression, matter of fact, that I can barely fucking pull the thing. That or it seized. Oh. I'll be a son of a bitch. Wow, that gas is, is in terrible condition, <laughs> holy shit. That is really gross gas. We'll have to let her warm up. We'll have to do an oil change too, there we go. There we go, hello. Let's 
get the choke off. Oh, you little bitch. You were running. Why did you turn off? Yeah, it's clear this thing has not been started. And that gas is ancient, so it's probably not helping anything. I think I'm gonna keep the choke up. Honestly, it's been a while. The idle control actually works. I'll be a son of a bitch. Man, I'm telling you, Coleman sure knows how to make some good shit. Let's see if we actually have power. What happens if I turn the idle control off? Oh, I see. It just runs it up. So it's like a low idle feature. We have to keep the choke off or idle. It's quite obnoxious sounding though. I think it's just that it doesn't even have an exhaust. I think the muffler is leaking at some point. Or you know what we could do because this is a Briggs engine. I got a couple of engines that are the same displacement. I could take a muffler off or take the actual muffler housing off, cut it, and make it a little up pipe, put a fucking tractor flap on. I have like a lately, lately I've had an obsession, an obsession, excuse me, a tractor flap, so. We'll have to put her under load though, these things like load, so we'll have to plug her into something heavy. Let's put it under half of its load, this is 4600 watts. I don't know, I'll find something around here, this has got to be something that will take quite a bit of load.